so I have a solar panel which is 200 watt or 2 by 100 watts and I've run a wire from inside the caravan underneath through the chassis into the boot. So I'm just going to set it up. The solar panel comes with a length of 6mm wire with an Anderson plug on the end. I've got another plug in the boot. I'm going to plug it into there. The wire runs through the hole in the boot, length of the chassis and up through the hole, existing hole where the another wire comes out to get to the battery. The solar panels came with a solar controller attached to the panel. I've taken the solar controller off the panel, joined the wires and I've relocated the solar controller closer to the battery so it gets a truer reading of voltage coming in and going out. So to hook up my solar panel I just needed some 6mm wire, some wire cutters and strippers and a few Anderson plugs. The battery in the van is located under the seat. This is the wire I ran from the boot at the front of the van underneath the van, through the chassis, up through an existing hole where an existing cable went out. It had silicon around the cable filling the hole. I removed some of the silicon, poked my 6mm solar panel wire through and re-silicon re the hole. I put a, an Anderson plug on the end of the solar panel wire. I have another wire attached to my batteries with an Anderson plug on and I have the solar controller with two Anderson plugs. One goes to the solar panel and one goes to the batteries. This is the wire from the solar panels. I've labelled it accordingly so I can plug that in. Plug that in. Plug my batteries in. So everything, everything plugs in with Anderson plugs. The only time it'll ever be plugged in is if we're charging batteries. Everything will be disconnected, so none of the wires are live. Anderson plugs are very safe because there's no exposed wires anywhere. The reason I've used Anderson plugs everywhere is by having Anderson plugs on my controller and Anderson plugs on the solar panel, it's easy to connect and disconnect. And I've got this other lead with alligator clips on. So I can disconnect the solar controller, put the panel in the car, do an overnighter somewhere, run the fridge and lights in the car, and if I need to top up the battery, use these alligator clips, clip onto the battery, clip the solar panel on to my solar controller, and away we go.